What is up guys, so in today's YouTube video, I'm going to be talking about the Concorde, which is one of my favorite airplanes ever made, and I'm going to be giving you guys the backstory of it, in case you didn't know. It's a really popular plane, but it also, it failed. So we're just gonna quickly find it here, it should be, yeah, right there. As you can see, British Airways uh, and Air France used it, I'm pretty sure. Um, but basically, what the Concorde was, I have some notes here that I'm gonna read off my second monitor. Um, the Concorde, so the, uh, UK, United Kingdom, and France built the Concorde in the early 1960s. It was a super modern, like, way ahead of its time, uh, supersonic airliner. It was the first airliner, um, ever built, or the first supersonic air airliner ever built. There were only 14 Concords that were in service, and obviously the tickets were like $20,000, like really expensive. Um, and the Concorde could go 2,179 kilometers, um, just 1,000 kilometers under what the SR-71 could do, which is the world's fastest plane. And it was so ahead of its time, guys. I mean, just look at this. Air France Flight 4590 was an infamous infamous crash so basically what happened i'm pretty sure the concord was taking off from a runway um and basically a scrap piece of scrap metal from a different plane i'm not sure if there was a dc-10 or just some random plane anyways it was on the runway and it like shot up i'm pretty sure it hit the concord and ruptured the fuel tank so on, on like five kilometers after the concord had taken off um it plummeted straight down into an hotel and killed like a few hundred people so very sad and obviously after that they were all grounded and there was not um that demand that much demand for it anymore so that's kind of the story there boys pretty sad one but also one of my favorite aircrafts so yeah we're just gonna you know speed taxi here yeah this also this thing has uh four engines and they have afterburners so that's how it's able to go so fast there's lots of ideas right now and projects with uh supersonic flight and stuff but the thing is is that the concord had to take extra long routes so because if, if you know anything about planes you know that when you're going supersonic um it causes supersonic booms which a ton of people complained were like shattering windows and stuff so they had to do routes not over cities or houses but they had to go all the way around but i'm pretty sure it cut travel time by a few hours which is good if you're some, like some rich business guy you can spend like $10,000 on a plane ticket just to go somewhere. But yeah, it's one of my favorite planes ever built. Look at this. So sick. Look how big those afterburners are. And yeah, we'll go ahead and take off here. Come on. There we go. Got the gear tilt too. Um, There was a, some pretty cool things with the Concorde. You can actually... So the nose here, Um, I'm pretty sure it actually moved up and down for takeoff and stuff. Um, It was something with the design, which is pretty sick. Uh, Obviously... Just look at this thing though, bro. It's so sick. I'm pretty sure it was not that easy to land, obviously. I mean, it's a freaking supersonic jet. It can only fly to a certain amount of airports. And it only flew for a little bit, but still absolutely sick. I mean, I've watched <laughs> a few, just a few. I probably watched like 10 documentaries on this thing. Like, it's just so sick. We're gonna try out the uh, top speed here. We're gonna get some, like, oh my God, so loud. We're gonna get to like 5K altitude. There was the uh, supersonic boom there. So supersonic booms, they can like shatter windows and crap. And obviously, you know, I want that to happen. So they had to fly all the way around the ocean and stuff. Let's get above these clouds. Realism, guys, let's go. Concord in like a 9G. Uh, yeah, okay, let's go. Let's test out the max speed, boys. We're gonna level out and we'll see it out. Or right, we'll ch ch check it out. There's St. Barthelemy. Yo, I actually kind of want to try and land uh, the Concorde at St. Barthelemy. We could probably just go back and land at uh, GR, but we'll try and land at St. Barthelemy. Most goofy name ever. So I think that this thing can go around a thousand knots. It would take a little bit to test the max speed, but yeah, just a sick aircraft. Like, incredible. Oh, crap. Yeah, we're coming in a little hot, don't you think? So, all right, we're going to just go... Trying to lose some altitude and speed here. Oh my god, bro. Imagine you're just flying in a Concorde in like the early 70s or thousands or something, I don't know. Um, and then you just go into like a full- I don't even know what this is. Like a 7G. I, I don't even know, bro. Yeah, the pushback is not very good on this, guys. I will not lie. Like, it's not very good. I'm not sure. I don't think we're gonna be able to land here, boys. 
Okay, we're gonna lose a ton of altitude because this this runway is tiny, so you know, no no shot, but whatever. We'll try it out. Also, the stall speed's really low or really high for this one, so yeah, good luck. Wish us luck, guys. All right, we're getting around that speed there. I'm gonna put our gear down. There's no flaps on this thing, I don't think. Just gonna be cruising here and some afterburner action. I'm joking, guys. <laughs> that looks so funny. Uh, so as you can see, it only has four landing gear in the back. It has one all the way uh, back there though, boys. I'm not sure if it actually has that. Oh, I was talking about this too. Oh, frick. Bro, the stalling sounds weird. So, I'm also- oh crap. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, guys, so I'm pretty sure that- or, I'm not- I'm not- no, I'm not pretty sure. I am sure that the nose could go up and down for takeoff and stuff and landing. It was really weird, but super cool. You guys got to look up like Concord documentary and stuff. Quite sick, not gonna lie. Okay, let's not stall. We should not be able to land this year, realistically, but hey, it's Roblox, right boys? Freaking Roblox. Okay, we're gonna keep pulling up. Our angle of attack is stupid high right now. That looks actually kind of sick. All right, took a little thumbnail screenshot thingy there. I think we're gonna have to stall this onto the runway. Oh my god, dang it. Go, go, oh, crap. All right, yeah, we're gonna kill all these people on the beach. What the frick? What the heck? <laughs> Butter, let's go. Okay, let's not take out these people on the beach, boys. Yo, we actually did that. That's crazy. We actually did that. All right, that's kind of funny. Not gonna lie. Uh, obviously, that's not realistic, but you know, whatever. It's Roblox. Um, so I can't. I think I'll show you guys the Concord crash video soon. Um, it's kind of scary, but you know, and it's pretty sad. I'm pretty sure a few people caught it on camera, so we're just gonna complete this pushback thingy. They also updated the pushback speed to 10 knots. Go watch my update video, boys, if you want to see that. But yeah, this is just a sick aircraft. Yeah, we'll go ahead and get in, and we will walk in. Look at this interior. Yeah, it's a pretty big plane, though, but it was stupid expensive to fly on, like, you know, a lot of money. 10,000, 20,000 for a ticket, so not cheap, not gonna lie. All right, let's get out now, and I'll show you guys some Concorde pictures here. All right, boys, so here it is. This is the crash right there. As you can see, the engine's on fire. Very sad. But yeah, here's the Concorde. Freaking sick looking plane. Uh, you can see the nose it goes up and down and stuff. Pretty sick. Not many people have seen this plane. Uh, it's just, you know, it didn't fly for too much. There's been like the Russians, the Americans have tried copying it, but they've all failed. So yeah, you can see the nose there, and then you can see see the nose there for takeoff. Um, so yeah, it's pretty dang sick, I'm not gonna lie. One of the most exotic looking planes of all time. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!